Recently, a Muslim entered Hamza's den to complain about all the Afghan Muslims who were leaving Islam in his area. Hey, guys, listen. There is a major, major concern here in Virginia. Okay. We, have, we have lots of Afghans literally leaving Islam. If you look at Apprehend My Channel, I'm trying to call them back in in Farsi. They are leaving it by the masses. A lot of them, guys. A lot of them. It's crazy. Keep in mind, he's just talking about Afghan Muslims leaving Islam in his city. You know where else Muslims are leaving Islam? Everywhere there's an internet connection. For 14 centuries, Muslim sheikhs were able to keep their followers insulated, shielded, protected from ever hearing any response to their ridiculous claims about Muhammad and the Quran. Fast forward to the 21st century, when anyone with an internet connection can look up what their sheikhs are claiming about Muhammad and the Quran, and what do you get? You get what you deserve, you lying sheikhs. You get what you deserve. You get an avalanche of apostasy. Want to see what's happening all around the world? I went through the comments under two of my videos. Let's take a peek. Thank you for going back to these core topics. It is this topic that made me realize Muhammad is a fake and I became an ex-Muslim when you first posted it some four years ago. Thank you. This is just the beginning. My ex-Muslim colleague told me that the biggest problem he had was trying to defend Muhammad's many disgusting acts on a daily basis on campus, all while being bombarded with Islamic criticism videos from David Wood and Sam. They are leaving it by the masses. A lot of them, guys. A lot of them. Ex-Muslim here from Iran, I was an agnostic for four years, but thanks to you, I have converted to Christianity and I'm a Christian now. That's crazy. You get it right on the head, David, as usual. I never thought I'd see some of the Muslims I know convert to Christianity, but I'm seeing it all the time now, thank God. And your ministry has been key to converting these people, so thanks again. I'm an ex-Muslim from Uzbekistan who doesn't pretend to be a Muslim in front of people. When I first found your and AP's channel, I thought this was a fitna towards Islam, but during watching your and AP's videos, I left this disgusting religion. I know a lot of ex-Muslims in my country who say they're apostates and do not. They're just hiding the secret not to get attacked by those Muslims or their families. I really am proud of being an ex-Muslim since I see a lot of ex-Muslims coming up every day. Much love from Uzbekistan. And we love you, Uzbekistan. Research has shown that over 100,000 Muslims leave Islam every single year. Thank you, David, for your help through your videos. You helped me leave Islam. Though I'm never going back to Christianity, I'm definitely not going back to that creepy, finger-licking good, child-molesting, war-raging delusion of a 7th century madman. May next year be filled with more videos like these that give us ex-Muslims hope. What a wonderfully concise description of Muhammad. I was born Muslim, but you opened my eyes, David. 24% of Muslim youth are leaving Islam. Ex-Muslim here, David and CP helped me a lot to leave my religion. Years ago, I was talking bad about Christianity and made fun of Jesus. Now I have debates with my friends because of defending Christianity and exposing Islam. David Wood and Christian Prince opened my eyes. Thanks to David, I became an ex-Muslim one year ago. I grew up in doubts and eventually left Islam because of you, sir. Thank you. You're very welcome. Our youth are full of doubts and nobody's answering their questions. Hi, Mr. David Wood. May God bless you and your good work. I have to go through most of your videos and I have used them to convert a lot of Muslims here in Nigeria. As and I do this from the prison, we have 1,000 inmates in here and I'm also one of the inmates. With the grace of God and your videos, I'm able to convert 250 inmates from Islam to Christian. There are others, too, who want to convert, but they're scared of losing family, too. Please keep the good work going. May Almighty Yahweh bless you. I would like to become apologetics like you. Sounds like you already are, my brother. Note to everyone else, prison is an awesome place for apologetics and evangelism. Your videos played a key role for me three years ago when I left Islam. You really did change my life. Thank you, David. 
I'm a Christian and I have three friends who left Islam because I showed them your videos and AP's videos. Thank you very much. Yo, your child is going to become an apostate. Shut up. I know many ex-Muslims in my country, Bangladesh. Some of them are believers in Christ and they openly declare it. Some of them are hidden believers in Christ and don't expose it in front of the Muslims about losing faith in Islam and new faith in Christ. Some are apostate and agnostic now. There are some churches in my country that are conducted by ex-Muslims. YouTube suggested me to you two years ago and then Harris Sultan and Ghalib Kamal, all of you helped me to understand Islamic reality and left it. Now I'm human only. I love Christians, love Jews, and love whole human beings, and love you so much for opening my eyes from Pakistan. And we love you, friend from Pakistan. I can relate to the Muslim guy trying to ignore the bad parts of Islam while going on with daily routine. I converted to Islam over two decades ago and met some of the nicest people and enjoyed great camaraderie over the years. I could even shut my eyes to some of the Prophet's peccadillos. After all, most leaders have their dark side. Just look at Winston Churchill, Andrew Jackson, or Martin Luther. But then so many discrepancies were revealed, like the old lady being torn apart by camels or horses and the pubic hair boys massacre to just name two that couldn't be ignored. I was willing to ignore the sun setting in a pool of muddy water and some of the prophets sexcapades, medieval Christian popes and bishops weren't much better, actually some were worse, but stuff kept piling up. Lots of it from David Wood, apostate prophet, and of course Christian Prince with his knowledge of Arabic and minor details that I couldn't honestly support when asked by non-Muslims. So I became irreligious in the end. I miss it sometimes though. My friend, you may miss the camaraderie you had with Muslims, but you are now a member of one of the fastest growing groups in the world. The Fellowship of Ex-Muslims. I've become an ex-Muslim for almost 10 months now. I'm so glad that I came across David Wood videos when I tried to learn more about Islam. David Wood has given the most truthful Islamic education that I won't be able to study if I were only to listen to Muslim scholars. The greatest thing about David is he always gives the Islamic source that no one can deny without lying to themselves. Keep up the good work. And if we don't take constructive steps to deal with this, it is going to become an avalanche, a tsunami. To all you sheikhs and imams and Dawah Gandists who are watching, this is what happens when you use deception and manipulation and threats of violence to control people. It may work for a while. It may work for 14 centuries. But eventually, the people you've been deceiving and manipulating and threatening get an opportunity to think for themselves. And that's when you lose control over them. And when you lose control over them, you panic. And when you panic, you get desperate. And when you get desperate, you put the future of your religion in the hands of Da'is who are only going to accelerate the avalanche. If you look just at the Quran, you will get the indication that you can have sexual intercourse with a five-year-old. No. So if you're a Quran alone, you're allowed to have sexual intercourse with five-year-olds. Get me one verse in the Quran which says the woman has to be pubescent. So if you're a Quran alone, you're still towards pedophilia and a severe type of pedophilia. How's that for a cup of cold Zam Zam water in the face? This is a part of religion. There's a reason to it. Yeah? Yeah?